create Blender landscape using uh, the Minecraft world uh, creator. And I'm also going to show you how to create or to make those uh, generated worlds smooth, like this one. So for comparison, this is a smooth world and this is uh, the original one. So I'm going to show you how to smooth something uh, like this world out. And so to start with, um, you first need to go to the internet and find a nice um, Z which you like. And I like to show you um, the the example on this Z here. So go to single player, create a new world, name it I don't know something, uh, and go to more world options. And in here for the Z, enter this uh, Z. Z you just got. So uh, go to creative, uh, so this is all fine. And now click on done. Okay. And generate new world. So take a while. So after this world is finished, uh, you might want to have a look around and maybe have a look about what you can see. And as you can see, the world is constantly uh, continuing to generate. And it's important um, that you somewhat fly around a bit because only those parts um, of the world which are, which are already generated in, your, uh, in Minecraft will also later be seen in uh, Blender. So just go around um, and let it generate everything. Play around, play around, play around. So you can see it's constantly generating. And as you can see, it gets somewhat a bit laggy on my computer. So after it is finished generating all this stuff, um, yeah, now it's running smoothly again. So after you have, uh, after your computer has finished uh, calculating this world, you may now. Um, have a look on the coordinates. Therefore, hit uh, maybe go to the the center of the world, which in Blender should be uh, the center of the world. And I'd like to have my center right at this point. Okay. So now hit F3, and you will see a window popping up. And what is important are those X, Y, and Z numbers over there. Now grab a piece of paper and note them down. So for me it's on X, oh, let me see, just have to uh, reload it when it's in the way. So it's uh, 8, 9 on the X axis and on the Y axis it's 139. So you may leave out uh, the Z axis, it's not important. So after you've done this, um, exit uh, Minecraft, save and click to title. Right, now you can close it. And now go to uh, this address, um, Quark and MC object, Minecraft to object converter. You may want to download the most recent version, so go to download and click here. And after you've downloaded it, 
Uh, there are two um. Oh, sorry. There are two files in it. Copy both of them. Then go to your um, username account, app data roaming Minecraft saves, and paste them there. Ah, uh, you see, you can see I'm already I've already done it. So, um, now what we'll do next is open CMD. Dot exe, and we copy this uh, path over here and type in cd space and right click and paste it so this will set this as uh, the operational folder now go back to the site on which uh, you downloaded um, the converter and go to windows and copy this first line paste it, oh sorry, right click paste it and what you want to do is uh, you may want to rename uh, everything so it fits nicely. So I I named my world tutorial somehow. I misspelled it and pasted it. Yes, and did this for the, this one as well. Paste it. And because um, the now to the settings, uh, I got a uh, two um, CPUs. So I set the CPUs to two. Uh, I like um, the the range of 20 by 20 chunks is all right, uh, but but I want to make it 30 <laughs> just for fun. And then are some uh, important things um, to mention or to do. So uh, you got to take um, this one over here and to center, oops, to center it to uh, the specified location. Now you have written down um, the the locations we wanted, so go to Z140, uh, and so these numbers are only uh, an example for my map. And I put sorry, oops. oh yeah, I put on the x-axis I put 89, so as seen here. This is nice. And what we'll do next is go over here and we'll add another thing. So it's important to not combine those faces. So also copy that, paste it over here. And also another important thing is to hide the uh, to to limit um the the uh, yeah the uh, elements you can see. So I don't want to have everything in my map. Uh, I'm only interested in the things above ground level. So I paste this one and I set it to let's see, um, let's make it 30. So after everything is set up, you hit enter and it will go through um, the conversion process. This also takes a time. Okay, I just uh, paused uh, the video to um, let it finish. And now that it's done, um, you can open up Blender. <coughs> I am currently using the latest uh, Blender build from Graphic All um, with um, all the trunks combined. So it takes quite a while to load up because it's uh, got all the add-ons in it already. <coughs> so here we go. Now, first thing to do is delete the default cube and uh, the lamp and switch to cycles render. So I, I'd like to render this in cycles. Uh, in my opinion, it looks far better. Okay, now you can go to import wavefront and select the object data uh, you just created. Import object. Uh, by the way, you may now close all these windows. You don't need them anymore. Okay, let's close it too. 
and you can also close uh, the CMD. And still, it takes quite a while to load it up. As you can see, it's uh, 32 uh, megabits uh, of file data. Uh, and I know uh, objects, uh, object data are very big, but um, or dot objects are very big. And uh, but but when it's uh, fin finally imported into Blender, the blend file wouldn't be as much. So just have to wait a little longer. Uh, I think I'll pause it on the way.